everyone, it's Michelle Patterson here with Angel Souls and this is our weekly angelic message for the week beginning October 28th, 2019. I did do an auto write for this week. I've been feeling like I wanted to get back to that. So we'll just see how it goes, right? <laughs> Before we get into everything, I do want to put out there, I know it's, well, it's Halloween this week, isn't it? Happy Halloween. I am wearing my Halloween jewelry here, <laughs> my little fun stuff. But uh, I am thinking ahead to Vlogmas. I did post something on my YouTube channel and on Instagram asking people if that's something you would be interested in seeing me do. Now, please understand, if you comment down below what is Vlogmas, please just go and look it up. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm asking here is if you want me to do that or not, okay? It is a lot of work, so if, I'll tell you right now, if I get like three days into it and I'm only getting a thousand views per video, it's gonna stop, all right? Like, if people aren't watching it, I don't wanna put the time and the effort into it, right? I mean, it is a lot of work, it's a daily vlog. So, go look that up, let me know down below if that is something that you would be interested in, okay? So, for the week of October 28th, 2019, we have rushing stops. So what this feels like, I felt this energy of like, you know, someone putting the brakes on pretty hard. So depending on, yes, it could be a circumstance, but really this is you slowing down in your life and going, I don't care about this, okay? I don't care if the apartment or the home is dirty. Right? It's gonna have to wait till tomorrow, okay? Or next week or something, because this is where we're at right now. It's just like everyone just stops for a moment. Be sure to stop and breathe, so don't overwhelm yourselves. Many of you will begin to fall ill if you do not. There you go. So feeling tired, fatigued. Um, there, I mean, this is going to be for everybody. The only way that you could really know that is if you get a personal reading, which I do offer those. If you want to go to my website, angelsouls444.com, I can do a personal reading for you. But some, because I do feel like some of you might have a shot at launching something. I'd be careful, though. We're coming up on Mercury Retrograde this week so be aware of that i want to tune into this frequency here because some of you you're getting an inspiration you're kind of flowing forward but it says the rushing stops so don't go rushing into something <laughs> right um make sure you have all the details first all right and make sure you're not pushing yourself so far that you end up getting sick um sorry they're interrupting again here so this has to do with children as well so a lot of children this could be something where like every kid in the school gets something like watch out for like chicken pox or is that even a thing anymore? I think they have a vaccination for that now, but um, that's what it feels like. It's like something that starts to just kind of spread around the school. So be, be careful about that. Make sure your kids are getting lots of fruits and vegetables. Okay. <laughs> we wanted to caution you on lower energy. So we get this message typically every year around this time. So hang on. Uh, so many of you are engaging in thrills, taking great pleasure in the jolt it gives you. But that jolt in an energy, oh, excuse me, is an energy flood away from you. So every time you get scared or you um, just try to creep yourself out with anything, now the big thing that's supposed to be super creepy is mercury retrograde. <laughs> People are <laughs> people are putting this everywhere. It's like it's Mercury retrograde. Like it's something spooky to be scared of, like Friday the 13th or something. Um, again, when we engage in those things, it's okay to have fun. I mean, I have fun with Halloween. I have fun with all that stuff. But I don't mess around um, treating certain things like games that are not games. All right? Okay. So there's that. Um, yeah, so every time you get that jolt, they're saying you're feeding this energy away from you feeding it away from you. And not only this, but it is encouragement for entities to come feed for you are providing a feast. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> and then this is what people do. They can't understand why their lives start going poorly once they start messing around with this stuff. Um, or just, you know, even watching a horror movie. I mean, if that's what you're into, okay, but you have to, please don't get defensive about this. You have to really look at what you're doing to your energy when you watch that stuff. Again, you know, I'm not watching, you know, purely spiritual stuff all the time, but it does, it'll shift something in you. It, it causes an anxiety of sorts, like, um, or maybe I should say like a, an adrenaline rush. And that is encouraging entities to come and feed 
okay? Remember, you are an electrical being. <laughs> so the more you do this, you know, then you get all this interference. And then when your life starts tumbling down a way that you don't want it to be, you're like, what happened? I don't understand, right? <laughs> So just be careful with that, I think is what they're saying. All right, let's keep going. Um, do what feels right for you. Do not do things because, quote, uh, it's that time of year or, quote, well, I've been expected to be there. I Wait, what? Oh, <laughs> be kind and respectful to others and be true to yourself. This is not a time for games as we watch closely, ready to help. But how can we when you are choosing to go away from light? Please remember, we are here. We love you. We are angels of God's light. So if you this week are going, you know what? I'm just not into it. I'm not feeling it. You know what? I don't want to go uh, to this party or I don't want to go to that meeting or you know, some of you will be like, I have to go to the meeting. <laughs> There's no way around that. But you know, what we're getting at here is like, you don't need to say yes to everything. But what this is saying is be true to yourself. You can say no. You can set those boundaries. And yet, um, there are some of you out there that watch who might go too far with this, <laughs> all right, where it's like, you know what, I said I was going to be there and bring three dozen cupcakes, but I don't feel like it, so now I'm not going to fulfill my promise. You don't get to do that, okay? <laughs> if you've already said yes, too late, you're in for three dozen cupcakes, okay? You got to just make them, right, or go buy them or something. So don't be rude to people. Don't do this thing of, you know, we're talking more to people who just always say yes to everything, because they're afraid, they don't want anybody feeling hurt. And so they go to great lengths, even at their own expense, to make sure no one feels hurt, right? So this is saying, you know, you can set those boundaries, but if you're just somebody who's like, you know what, I don't care that my friend's gonna be sitting there waiting on me at the restaurant, I just decided I don't wanna go. No, um, you're dealing with a whole other thing there. <laughs> get it checked out, um, that's not nice. It says be kind and respectful to other people, but honor yourself as well. Cool? All right, let's get into the cards. Oh, allergy season is here, y'all. <laughs> I did not take my pill, uh, my allergy medication early enough today, and so now it's all allergies. <laughs> So no lashes today, no contacts either, I cannot see. But we'll make the best of it. Let's see what we have here. <laughs> October 28th week of. Okay. Careful. Ooh. Yeah, they're saying it's becoming, darkness is becoming trendy. And we see this a lot. And actually, in a weird way, it diminishes some of the effect, okay? Um, because it's becoming commonplace. And yet, I mean, look anywhere, guys. Look anywhere. Everything, you know, these little symbols and everything. What was I was on a certain website. And they had the, uh, the Ouija what is it called? It's like that little piece that goes around that you push around. They actually have that as their cursor, <laughs> which was kind of funny. And I get what they're going for. And I don't think that's awful. It's just, uh, it has an energy, guys. It has an energy. Be careful with your energy. So does this make sense? We're saying, you know, you don't want to be that whiny victim, you know, person who's like, I'm just sensitive. I can't. We're, we're past that now, right? We're like several years past that now. I think we are. So we don't want to do that. Or we don't want to go, oh my gosh, Halloween in general is against Jesus Christ and it's no good. And it's, it's all about how you take it in. It's all about what you do with it. For me personally, I'm wearing a sweatshirt here that my sister got me. This thing has been worn so many times, washed so many times. It's, it's pilling. It's starting to <laughs> get all ratty, but it says um, Girls Night Out. And it has a little witch's hat and a witch's broom. And my sister gave it to me. So I love it. It's cute. I love cute Halloween things. I'm not into gore. Do not put that in front of me. It is nasty, okay? I don't want that. <laughs> but some people, you know, they get a thrill from that. I don't know why. But it is sort of, in a way, um, a celebration of the shadow aspect of being human. So it's not bad. We're not saying, like, you have to, like, you know, stop everything. But just be careful with how much you're engaging in that, how much of it you're taking in, what it means to you. I hope that makes sense. I hope I'm saying that right. All right, let's get you some cards family. I want to talk about this card because I did a daily reading and this card came out 
and the comments from it were just so beautiful. I mean, people were like, you know, I really needed to hear that my family can be defined as a chosen family. Um, I needed to hear that my family, there's really a lot of love there, you know, whatever the case may be. So this week is about focusing on who you consider family. And I am one of those people, guys, I'm going to be doing a whole thing about empaths. May not be a video, maybe, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. It'll either be a blog or maybe a video, I might consider it, I don't know, or maybe a book. I don't know how much material is going to be there, but I am working on that. If you're an empath and you are very, very sensitive to people and you find that you need to spend a lot of time alone, you might see yourself as your own family and that is okay. You don't ever have to worry about what society says you should be or who you should be around or how many people you should be hanging out with, how popular you are. This whole world is nothing but a popularity contest, even down to how many subscribers you have. Hey, here's a little secret. You can buy subscribers. You know that, right? Watch for some of these people that all of a sudden, like overnight, they've gotten like, you know, hundreds of thousands of subscribers. I'm not saying that's what happened, but it's definitely possible. So anyway, back to the reading. <laughs> what we're saying here is this is a time to look at family, to define what family is for you and to engage in that comfort, right? Because the whole idea of family um, from a healthy perspective, if you have a healthy family, is to have support, to have love, to have your tribe. Uh, and I always say that very hesitantly because people get a little nutty with that whole tribe word, right? <laughs> and next thing you know, people are in with really you know, unhealthy people who just want to feed off of them because they're like, no, 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 they're my soulmate, they're my tribe. So this is some clarity around family, okay? If you're having uh, some family issues or something along those lines, remember the auto right. The auto right said don't rush. So don't push the issue. Um, just rest a little bit, okay? Because the energy will make you sick, all right? All right, guys. So on to the second card here we have miracles. Now, miracles are happening all the time. This is something that is the norm. It's, you know, talking about Jesus Christ. I mean, I think Jesus came to try to teach us that this is who you really are. You are a walking miracle. You, uh, we all have the capacity, if we understand ourselves, to create these miracles, okay, and to do as he does. Now, if you are not a Christian and you're super offended, everyone is welcome here. Everyone is loved here. But if you're someone who likes to play the victim, you want to perpetuate hate. If you have this idea of, uh, if you're not with me, you're against me. This ain't your house, okay? This is not your house. And I will not tolerate those things. Everyone is loved and welcomed here, okay? So this miracle card is about creating something divine in your world. And taking that route, not to escape the shadow self. As a matter of fact, that's something that should be embraced. But as, as being a part of you but rather going, you know what, I can accept how things are, but I know that I can create the reality that I want, right? We talk about quantum creating. We talk about creative life force. We're talking about God force, us being from the God force. That sounds so sci-fi, I know. So when you're coming from that perspective, no matter what is happening in your world, you know, we always talk about coming from a place of gratitude and, you know, it's because gratitude, when you even think of it <laughs> and you really connect into that, uh, it uplifts you, right? It does something for you, raises you up. And now you're in a space where you can see what's possible. Now you can see your truest nature. And I think that's what Miracles is talking about here. All right. Next card, love. Ooh. All right. So love, let's talk about love. As people start to open up their consciousness, as people really start, as I was just saying, you know, everyone is loved here. No matter what you've been through, no matter who you are, what your religion is, what pain you carry with you, you are loved in this space. And speaking of family, hold on a second. Someone left a comment about, I don't remember if it was under the family card, but they're like, you know, was Janice, was it you? Honey, I don't remember. Let me know down below. Um, someone said, we always have the angel souls family. And what, I even get chills as I, <laughs> as I say that, because that's part of the beauty of being a YouTuber. YouTuber career can be very difficult. 
it can, you know, for some of us be very hard to even make a living from it. Um, you know, you get a lot of criticism because you're on the internet, you know, all those things. But when, when she said that, when she left that comment about, we always have the angel souls family, I was like, that's why we do this. That's it. Connection, connecting people. Yes, it is so imperative. And I think we're all going to start connecting even more, not just here in the angel souls family, but out in the world, understanding Understanding the true nature of love, that it doesn't have to be, you know, I have to connect with someone in a romantic way. Maybe it is. Guys, romantic love, uh, the energy is there, okay? <laughs> the energy is there. If you want to find real love and you're coming from a good place, let me tell you something. Look around you. People who are in relationships are typically in relationships because they can't be alone. Or it's like a game of musical chairs and the music stopped and everybody just grabs somebody. You know, listen, hey, you're not going to sit there and tell me that you're madly in love and this is my soulmate. This is what people will tell themselves. What I'm talking about is the true vibration of love, real love, love that is so pure, it is divine. It is a miracle. It is that God force kind of love coming through, right? That's what we're experiencing now. From that standpoint, you could very well pull in a love partner. And I want to talk to the singles out there. I'm not talking like, when I say you've been single for a long time, I'm not saying, oh, it's been a year. <laughs> that, that's it, okay? <laughs> like, Come on back to me when, <laughs> when it's been a decade, okay? Or something like that. But if you've been single for a very, very long time, this might be that kind of love partner that comes along or you've developed yourself so much that you are the kind of love partner that was worth waiting for all along. That's why we're always talking about patience when it comes to love and not just, you know, grabbing someone up just so you feel whole and complete. I think I mentioned in one of the videos or I do, oh, P.S., another announcement. I will have 2020 year overviews coming out. I'm working on editing those right now. I want to be very careful with them. They're not terribly long. Um, I sat down to film those and I was like, well, they'll take as long as they take. I mean, I was willing to do a half hour reading for every sign if that's what it took, but it didn't. It was very concise. So a lot of the readings are about around 10 minutes or so, give or take. Um, but I want to be very careful in the editing process to make sure um, it's engaging because these are, these are imperative, guys. Like really make sure you go and check out my 2020 video that I did and also check out your year overview when they come out. Sorry, so I was saying about, I think in another video, uh, or maybe it was one of those 2020 videos, I mentioned that I met a woman who said she's never been single. Now, this woman had some other characteristics that made me think, you know, she might have some undiagnosed something. I'm not a psychologist, but I'm also not stupid. And psychology is kind of a hobby of mine. I know that's a weird hobby to have, but it is. <laughs> Again, I'm not licensed or anything like that. But I kind of wonder if she wasn't like, a, you know, have maybe had like borderline personality disorder or something. Um just in her other characteristics. But then that when she told me that she had never been single and she looked at me and she was like, how do you ever get along without someone being there? And I'm like, what? I was having a hard time with that. I was like, how? So if you have ever been, I'm not saying like every borderline person acts like that or has, has been single or never been single. I'm not saying that that's part of it. Um, I just, she is a complete human being. She had some other characteristics with that. Um, but if you have been never single. What? Tell me about that. Comment down below. What was that like? What made you go from one relationship right on to the next? Do you feel like you've grown? Do you feel like you know yourself? I'd be curious to hear. All right. So then we have the messenger. The messenger is me. Hi. Um, I felt it as soon as I, <laughs> you guys are going to comment down below and be like, Michelle, that is so self-centered. I No, I'm not trying to be like that. I'm just saying like, as soon as I popped this out, it was like, listen to this message right? Listen to what's coming through to you right now. This also means on an individual level, there will be people probably, there will probably be people that your guides and angels are working through and they're bringing you a message. So I'm one of them, right? <laughs> right here, right now in this video. And then there will be others this week. So you'll get messages. Uh, pay attention to messages around love and um, as difficult as, you know, because everything, like I said, it's very difficult to be on YouTube. Everything you say, people want to twist the narrative. People work really uh, overtime. They work overtime to be a victim, right? 
And oh gosh, I'm telling you the 2020 energy is gonna, it's density blast guys. I did create a course called Getting Into the Heart that's in preparation for the 2020 energy and beyond. Uh, that's currently over at teachable.com. All the information is down below. If I do not see that I'm getting positive feedback from Teachable, I will cancel out that platform. It costs a small fortune every month to run that and nobody seems interested, all right? So I will put that back up over at Gumroad so you'll have it at Teachable and Gumroad. This will be the very, very telling month whether I keep it or not, all right? Again, everything I do here depends on the audience response. So if you like that platform, make sure you get over there and support it, all right? Or it's gonna go away. All right, so the messenger, let's get back to that card here for a moment. You know, you're gonna be having these messages come through. You're gonna have messages about love. You're gonna have messages about who you really are, getting into your heart space. That's why I brought up the course and being able to move into a different energy where you're coming out of the space of always trying to find someone who might offend you. Have you ever tried to have a conversation with somebody like that? You know, who, you know, I used to work with this woman who she would jump on everything I said and twist it something's not right there. Like you're, you're short circuiting, something is offline. <laughs> okay. So to speak, but really we're going to start not tolerating that anymore. And also when somebody wants to slander you like over some, like some serious stuff and making some serious accusations and you know, you didn't do anything. This is that kind of energy where we're putting our foot down and saying, no, you will not be doing that. This is a game so that you feel more like a victim not having it. So watch for how the messages come at you. The, the message might even be a deep knowing. It might be like a realization of someone doing that. Do you have a friend in your life who constantly twists everything that you're saying so that it, it makes you out to be a horrible human being when it wasn't your intention? You're going to start learning to set those boundaries. All right. There's a lot of messages coming in around this, but I want to make, <laughs> there's so many things going on, but, um, try to not make this so long. So let's get on to the color card. All right, there's one. Oh my God. Okay, so let me tell you about this. Black was on the bottom of the deck. It says, find richness from the dark of night. The number is 28. This is us going through that density blast. So it was on the bottom of the deck. I started shuffling. It was sticking out. I pulled it out. Here we go. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong, the last time we had this card, was it the Paris? thing. I think it was the Paris incident. That does not mean that something like that's going to happen this week. I'm just saying like, you know, when we're talking density, when we're talking people trying to find ways to be angry. Yeah, to some, uh, to some extent that's needed for social change, but we need a different approach. 100% we need a different approach. So finding richness from the dark of night, this is us learning from our mistakes. This is something being right in our faces so that we can finally start turning things around a little bit. So this week, there is going to be kind of like a shadow aspect to it. Um, they gave us the information about how to kind of work around that. You're going to come out of it. All right. This does not mean that something horrible is going to happen, but rather this is like realizing, realizing mistakes. So if you've made a mistake or you've been disrespectful to somebody or whatever, you can make amends. It's not a permanent mark on your soul because you need to ask somebody for forgiveness, right? So it's going to be one of those kind of wonky weeks maybe, but you can navigate it. You can work it. Look at, look at the, Ah, this crazy nature of these cards. So we have like, okay, there's going to be turning the ship, having to admit we've taken a wrong turn somewhere and we're going to be with family. We're going to be, you know, allowing miracles in with love. I can't hold all these up. A lot of messages coming through around that. So it, do you see what I'm saying here? It's, I think what we're learning as humans is to quit expecting everything to be perfect. And it's going to be out of the imperfection that we grow as a soul. You know this, right? <laughs> it's nothing new that I'm telling you here, but you have to be willing to blast through the density. That's what we're coming into. We're coming into what I want to call like a muddy time where the, I've been saying this for years. The old games are not going to work. The old manipulations are not going to work. Now what we start seeing are people who immediately go to conspiracy theory. You guys, I have... <laughs> 
Did you guys know that I'm a part of some secret societies? Did you know that? That's what people are in the beginning. They don't do it. They don't try me anymore, but they used to uh, accuse me of that. And <laughs> I'm like, you know what? My life is not that interesting. Again, consider that before you vote for the vlogmas. Um, but <laughs> I mean, I'll bring you along for the ride, you know, for whatever that's worth. But Oh my God, like people, there was a Twitter campaign against me. Angel souls must be stopped. And they tagged me in it. So, <laughs> so I saw it and I was like, what in the world? We can't always let our fears start manifesting and then throwing that energy at another person. Should we have our eyes open? Yes. Should we question things here and there? Sure. Should we go after everybody slandering them and assuming just because they're not us that they're bad? Better watch it. You better watch it. Where's that card? There's, listen, there's going to be another side of this. Sorry, this is so long. I'll try to edit this so it's not terrible. Um, there's another side to this. This is like some of, some people are going to go to jail. Um, yeah, <laughs> or go to prison. Oh, God forbid. Um, because what they're doing is not good. It's not... <sighs> Thank you. They're saying people aren't going to get away with stuff anymore. And we as a society, it's like we're starting to turn on the light about what really will affect change, which is love, right? That's the miracle, the miracle of love. It can turn everything around. Um, you know, I had somebody, I put up a video and someone just wanted to spread hate all in the comments. And I understand that this person was coming from a place of pain. And I even said to this person, hey, I've got nothing but love for you. But hate is hate. And if you want to keep perpetuating hate, that's a frequency that you're putting out there. Okay, let's stop. Let's, ooh, I'm not saying that what this person was upset about wasn't important. It absolutely 100% is. But we need a different approach. How many times have I said that in this video? Put the count down below. <laughs> we need a better approach. Okay. Ugh, there's more coming through, but I'm going to leave it there because I feel like this will be a 20 hour video. So we're going to leave it there, guys. I'm sending you so much love and take care. Bye bye. to wipe my nose with a crystal because I don't have my glasses on. Who does that? Good lord.